Hi everyone, I'm Haley. I am a fourth year medical student and in this video I am going to share how I prepared for step two and Comlex two. Um, I'm going to try and lay it out in like a timeline, a happy calendar I'll try and throw up in this video for you so you can maybe follow along in what I did. Um, I don't necessarily recommend what I did. It worked for me, but I was also kind of cramming in and procrastinating just a little bit. So yeah, maybe don't do that. <laughs> um, also, this was last year, so I'm not sure if anything's changed in the step two world. So make sure you're staying up to date and everything like that. Um, so first I will start off with my year three rotations. Um, going through your clinical rotations, make sure you're studying for each shelf exam uh, thoroughly and you're trying your best, okay? That can be kind of hard when you're on certain rotations. Um, my first rotation was surgery, so I was just doing UWorld and I was doing online med ed because that's what other students did and it worked for them. Unfortunately, it did not work for me and I did not do very well on my surgery exam. So then the following rotation, I ended up doing a mixture of AMBOSS and UWorld and supplementing with boards and beyond videos. So I recommend that, it's it worked for me, so you can always try it. Um, again, do what works for you, okay? You don't have to do everything everyone else is doing. Um, but anyway, I did a lot better. If you're studying better for your shelf exams, it's gonna set you up better for step two studying, okay? So <clears throat> did that throughout third year. Um, getting into May, I did have a final rotation in May. I was online, which was great. I tried to complete most of my coursework for that class uh, within that first week. So I was doing a lot of class stuff and then also trying to do like 40 questions of UWorld and reviewing those a day and trying to finish UWorld, um, get through my first pass. So we're gonna start off in May. Um, oh, my, my test dates, let me tell you. Um, so June 18th is when my step two was scheduled. That was a Saturday. And then the following Friday was my Comlex two, which was June 24th. So now going to May, I did class stuff, tried to finish it all in the first week, also finishing UWorld. And then I did the uh, AMBOSS self-assessment on May 8th. So if you are preparing for step two, sign up for the AMBOSS self-assessment. It's free. So it's free, like you should just do that. Um, also, it's a really great assessment. I thought it was pretty relevant, it had very relevant material compared to step two. Um, same styled questions and everything. So I really liked them. So you should take the self-assessment from AMBOSS. I think they give you a week to take it. Um, I would do some UWorld questions and I think I would do like an AMBOSS question block. Um, and I did that for a couple of days until I finished the AMBOSS self-assessment. And then, after that, I was finishing New World, working on some class things, um, and then finally was able to finish New World, reset it, and then start it over. Um, you can do this a couple of different ways. Some people, some students, like, don't reset New World, and they'll only do their incorrects. I did not do that. I completely reset it all to new um, because some of those questions I may not have seen from all um, you know 10 months or something I hadn't seen them since last August when my first rotation was or whatever and so I completely reset it you do you though so do whatever works for you um reset it did random questions like just picked all systems 40 question block did them all reviewed another 40 review another 40 review so I was doing 340 blocks a day um at most I think you know if you were doing 440 blocks, that's great if you can get through it. Um, I just don't think I could do that many. Uh, also, I had to work on some research projects for this class, so I had to throw in a bunch of stuff. But I was pretty consistent in doing my UWorld um, and reviewing them, and then I would sometimes do, like, like watch a Boards and Beyond video uh, based on my UWorld questions, like if I was struggling to understand something or did something wrong, um, or just needed like a review, I would watch a Boards and Beyond video on it and then follow along in that like white coat companion book. Um, another thing is reviewing your questions. That's kind of hard. I'm going to make another video on how I reviewed all my questions, but 
um, going forward, I think that really helped me doing well on step two. Um, so then May 16th, I did my, I guess my second self-assessment. It's U World 1, and then I reviewed it. Um, and then, you know, went right back to doing the 340 question blocks a day, reviewing, maybe throwing in a B&B video, uh, watching YouTube Dr. High Yield video, things like that. Um, I kind of followed that rough schedule of doing three blocks a day, uh, just kind of helped me stay on track. Um, I did have to take a final for the class I was in, so I did that really quick, and then I took the rest of the day off and just hung out, um, just did whatever I wanted. Then the next day, back to my usual routine. I did have to take a comm save from my school, so I did that on May 25th. That had, I believe, OMM comm like stuff in there. And then after that, I did UWorld. Um, so then May 28th, this is my first NBME practice exam. It was NBME 10, and I remember doing fine on this one. Uh, I reviewed it and then, you know, just did whatever the rest of the day. I believe they're four hours. And they are $60 if I remember, 50 or $60. Um, but those are great. They're very much like the exam. So I recommend them. Um, again, UWorld blocks throughout the week. And then June 2nd, I took NVMe 9 and it destroyed me. Okay, I failed that exam. I failed it miserably. I was bawling. I was so upset because keep in mind, my step two is in a couple weeks for me and I just failed this exam. I'm two weeks out. That's not where I want to be at all. So I was really stressed about that. I was like, oh my goodness, I need to really get on track here. I need to figure this out. Um, I need to do better. I did hear some feedback that MBME 9 was ridiculous and everyone does pretty bad on that one. I don't know if it's different. I don't know if it's the same or not, but yeah, that one completely ripped out my confidence and I did think about moving my test date, but um, you know, I contacted some of my med school friends and they were like, well, maybe you take another NBME and if that one also goes bad, you're gonna, you should probably move it. Um, so I followed that um, recommendation the day after my NBME 9. I was just doing my usual U World questions. And then June 7th, I decided to take a, another practice exam. So that's only like a few days away from my last one. Um, and BME 11, and I reviewed it. And I did fine. I did good. I got a great score for me anyway. And I remember having like more confidence and feeling good about it. Keep in mind, I had also reset UWorld and my second percentage pass was much higher than what my first percentage pass was. So I'm building this confidence and I'm getting better at it. Uh, back to my like question blocks on UWorld, boards and beyond reviewing. I also read these AMBOSS articles on like ethics, uh, death and dying, quality, uh, safety questions, uh, what else was on there. I'll try and link them in the description if I can find them all. I had found a Reddit post on them and this Reddit poster said, Oh, I definitely think everyone should read these AMBOSS articles. And I also recommend that because step two had a lot of ethics questions, like PPE questions, um, I don't know, safety, things on death, ethics. So those are great things to just quickly review. Um, and then I also did the questions on AMBOSS for those articles. So keep in mind, this is what, 10 days out from my exam. Okay, so we're going back to UWorld. We're doing my reviews, my boards and beyond. June 12th, I took UWorld 2 uh, self-assessment and reviewed it. And I did fine. I did good. I was feeling great. Totally okay. I'm ready for that exam. Uh, going back to UWorld, doing my blocks and reviewing. Um, a few days later, I take the free 120 on June 15th. So that's about three days out for my exam. Did fine did good, I'm happy, okay? So I'm, I'm better now. Um, did another 40, uh, three 40 blocks on UWorld. And then Friday, which is the day before my exam, <clears throat> I packed 
all the stuff I wanted to take for my exam, like my lunch, my snacks, waters, Gatorades, whatever. Um, I also, you, they say not to study before your exam, and I wouldn't say this is studying necessarily, but I did review my, like, mnemonics and things that I wanted to write on that, like, uh, poster or whatever they give you, that paper thing, like your note paper that you get during the exam. So I practice what I'm going to write um, for that exam so that I re can recall it easier. So I recommend that. I believe I wrote, like, drew out the stroke thing from Boards and Beyond, um, some mnemonics. What else did I draw? Uh, I can't remember, but I just tried to draw and write as much as I could so I would have it ready for step two. Um, keep in mind, like, you should also, you know, be taking care of yourself during step two studying, okay? So, you know, try to get outside, try to stay active, eat healthy, you know, be social, <clears throat> take care of you, do something for you every day so that you're taking care of your health physically and mentally. <clears throat> so that will set you up better for the exam, okay? Um, so June 18th is step two day. Um, my exam was at 9 a.m., which was great. I got to sleep in for a little bit. So I got there, I think at like 8.30, was getting ready to sign in. Um, you know, when you pack your snacks and your food, make sure it's stuff that you've had before. You don't want to test your stomach on uh, like test day, okay? That can be rough. So pack stuff that you know you like and that you know won't upset your stomach. Um, I packed like a turkey sandwich. Uh, I packed protein bars, protein drinks. I packed some like gum, ibuprofen, Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, eye drops. I pack a lot of stuff because it's always better to be prepared. Um, I used to pack a salad. Like that's what I ate for step two, my MCAT. And it, it just takes so long to eat a salad and they're not really filling. So try to eat more protein so that you're staying full and you're focused. Um, you know, if you, I had some gummy snacks that I like to eat. So I had like Swedish fish that I would just like to snack on quick. Um, those can be okay. You have to be careful of like a sugar crash during your exam. So keep that in mind. Um, I definitely think more protein rich foods are better, but again, you have to do what's great, like right for you. So you do you. Okay. Um, so then the next day, um, keep in mind, I still have complex level two. I have to prepare for, which is in a few days. So the few days leading up to it, I was doing OMM questions on true learn, um, sometimes I would do a few like questions on you world that were systems based or some systems based ones on true learn. So <clears throat> going back and forth and I would also go through the like OMM green book. Uh, it's like severe C or something. I don't know who writes it, but it's a little green book. Um, and I just review that quick and then that's what I did basically that whole time. My, I think I watched a few YouTube videos quickly just to like review some OMM stuff. And then Thursday, June 23rd, the day before my exam, packed all my stuff. Um, and then I also reviewed again my mnemonics and then uh, practiced drawing out a few like things for OMM, like the sacrum diagnosis stuff, uh, just so I could write them down in that, again, that sheet that they give you during the exam. So that's what I did. And then the next day was Comlex level two day. So showed up took the exam. That one's longer. I think I got out maybe like six, I want to say. It's like nine to six maybe. Um, I don't remember, but it was longer. So then went home and relaxed and hung out. And that following week, I started another rotation and started my fourth year of medical school. So again, I'll try and put some stuff down in the description. If you have any questions or comments or anything, put them up in the comments. Um, let me know. Uh, again, thanks for watching this video and I hope it helped. Good luck to everyone if you're preparing for step or complex. You'll be great. 